If you've been following along with me for a while, then you'll know that one of the top blogging best practices that I preach is to include a very strong CTA. That means call to action in every single blog post. Now, whether that's shouting about your new free training, asking them to subscribe to your email list via some sort of freebie opt to gift or plugging a new service you plan to offer, you need a call to action in every single post. So let's say starting today, you decide to take my advice and get busy adding your calls to action everywhere. What happens when down the road you decide to change things up? Depending on how long you've been doing this blogging thing for, you now have anywhere from five to 500 past posts in which your opt-in call to action graphic will need to be manually updated. Not a super thrilling task or a really valuable use of your time, right? So in today's video, I'll be sharing how you can easily set up your blog in Squarespace going forward so that all your CTA sections can be instantly updated in the future with just the click of one button. While we're chatting about website best practices, why not also grab access to the free training, which I recently recorded for you called the four simple steps to doubling your site sales. In it, I share a behind the scenes case study of a recent site redesign done by yours truly. We're using the same steps that I share in the free training. We were able to more than double that website's Black Friday sales from the previous year. So no matter what you offer, products, services, or something else altogether, you're gonna wanna check out the free training to make sure that your website is set up to sell in your sleep. You'll find the link to that right here and I'll also pop it for you in the description below. Okay, so I'm here in the back end of my site, which just happens to be on Squarespace 7.1, but this hack will work for either version of Squarespace. So just to give you a little background on this handy little workaround, the end result is that we are going to be using a summary block to display our freebie opt-in gift or whatever call to action you want to include in your post rather than just dropping our graphics straight into an image block. Now, this makes it so that no matter how many times you include this call to action throughout your site and blog, when you go to update it, you only have to do it in one place, which I'll be showing you in the later steps. But before we go adding our summary block, we first need to create something for it to display. So this is step one, which is to create a secret fake blog in the back end of your site where all your call to action content will be stored. So head under pages, click the plus sign to add a new page in our unlinked section and select blog. Don't worry, nobody will ever know that this fake blog exists. It won't appear anywhere in your site navigation and it won't contain any actual written content or keywords. So there's pretty much zero chance of anyone ever stumbling upon it in a Google search. So it doesn't matter which blog layout you choose, just pick the first one and get started. Now name your new fake blog, something you'll remember like CTA graphics for summary blocks, and then open it up so you can see your new blog panel on the left. Okay, so on to step two, which is getting our CTA content set up in our new fake blog. So in order for you to have control over which graphic appears in your summary block, each CTA will need to live in a separate blog post. So delete out the demo content that comes with your new blog by clicking the three dots beside each post and selecting delete. Then click the plus sign to add in a new post and name it after your CTA. So in my example, I'll name it content creation outlines. Then remember to hit save. Now, next, you'll need to upload your content to be displayed. So here I have this graphic, which I've created to show about my new freebie. By the way, if you want a copy of my content creation outlines, I'll stick that link for you in the description below too. Okay, so I have my pre-made graphic and I'll need to upload it as a sort of thumbnail preview for my fake new blog post. I'll do that by clicking the three dots beside my post, clicking settings, and then uploading my graphic where it says featured image. Okay, moving on to step three. So when you go to set up your summary block, you'll need to be able to tell it which content from your faux blog you want to display. This is done through the use of Squarespace tags. So while you're still in your blog post settings, you're gonna head under the options tab and add a new tag. Name your tag something general like freebie number one. For now, this tag will be applied to this freebie, but down the road, you may wish to feature a different freebie, in which case you'll have to delete this tag from the fake post and add it to your new one. All right, so this next step is really important because it's what makes it so that when someone clicks your CTA graphic, they'll be redirected to your actual preferred landing page instead of someone randomly ending up on a random empty blog post. <laughs> so to change the link your CTA leads to when clicked, then head back under the content tab inside your post settings and toggle on the link post title to source URL button. Next, add your link to the source URL field. Also heads up, your faux blog post must be in publish mode in order for it to be displayed in your summary block. So hit publish and save your post. So you can follow those same steps to set up as many different CTAs as you like, making sure each one has its own post. Then step five is where we start using summary blocks to display our CTA content. 
But rather than manually adding summary blocks to each new blog post you create, save yourself a bunch of unnecessary steps by building yourself a sort of blog post template. Once it's built, you can then duplicate it each time you sat down to write a new post. So to do this, open up your actual blog, not the faux one, and add a new post. Add whatever you'd like to your template, basically anything that would make it easier on you to create the new post in the future, like image blocks, text blocks, even some gibberish to use as placeholders for your content with correct heading formats already assigned so you aren't starting from scratch with each new post. Then wherever in that post you want your CTA to appear, add in a summary block. So I'll walk you through how to set up your summary block inside your blog post template so that you never have to mess with those settings again in the future. So click the pencil icon to open up your summary block settings and change the following settings. Select a page. This is how you'll tell Squarespace where to find the content you want to display. So in this case, the page will be your new faux blog. Date posted, you'll select none. Secondary data, also none. Filter. This is where you will apply whichever tag you want this summary block to display. So if I make my filter freebie one, then any CTA I've added to that tag will appear. So if you just want one freebie appearing, then make sure freebie number one tag has only been applied to one CTA in your faux blog post settings. So now to format the look and layout of your CTA, head under the design tab and change the following settings. Layout. You can leave it set as wall unless you'd like your summary block to feature more than one type of CTA or thumbnail graphic. Number of items, again, just select one unless you plan to show off multiple at the same time. Elements, the only thing you want to display is the featured image, so toggle the rest of these elements off. Size and spacing, if you want the CTA graphic to take up the whole width of your blog post, then use the slider to increase the column width. Gutter width is just how far apart each graphic is if you plan to show more than one, so use that slider until you're happy with how it looks. There, now your summary block should proudly be displaying whichever CTA is currently tagged as freebie number one. Now, steps one to five may have felt like a lot just to get a simple image to display on your post, but I promise it will save you so much time in the future if you can start doing this today. The great news is you only have to go through these steps once. Then you can duplicate this blog post template you created for use with infinity posts in the future. And the only setting you'll need to worry about when you go to publish a new post is tweaking which filter you've applied to your summary block. You might set it up so that half your blog post is promoting freebie number one and the other half is promoting freebie number two if it's more relevant to the topic of your content. Okay, so now that you know how to set this all up, how do you actually go about swapping out the content in the future? Say half my past blog posts are currently displaying my content creation outlines freebie, but I decide to use those posts to promote my free training on finding clients as a new Squarespace designer instead. I don't have to even touch any of my past blog posts or spend time fiddling with the settings of summary blocks. I just open up my fake secret blog and apply my freebie number one tag to a different CTA, removing it from the old CTA. If the thing you're promoting is staying the same, but you just want to update the graphic or link, then all you have to do is open the settings of that CTA and swap out the feature image and source URL. Any summary block on your site or blog that was originally set up using freebie number one filter will now instantly update to your new content. Start doing this now and swapping out your CTA in the future will take mere minutes instead of literal days spent dragging and dropping to update all of those past posts. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to stop by the description below and grab access to that free training called the four simple steps to doubling your site sales. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, do please let me know by hitting the like button and remember for the best tips on building a web design business that you absolutely love. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the little bell button so you'll be notified when new content drops on the channel every single week. And if you're wondering what to watch next, I highly recommend these videos too.